Tesla, of course, named its company after the genius inventor Nikola Tesla. Now, a lot of people have thought for a long time that the US government stole Nikola Tesla's research papers, and therefore they, to some degree, ruined his legacy. Is this actually true, or did something else entirely different happen? Well, here is what we believe now is the real truth. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. Shortly after the infamous inventor's death, the government illegally, it's believed, confiscated Tesla, Nikola Tesla's property, and kept it for 10 years, citing wartime national safety. But it's believed that it didn't return all of it back. And the fact that they did this in the first place is obviously pretty damn concerning. It's something we've all forgotten about. On the 7th of January, 1943, Nikola Tesla was found dead in his room at the New Yorker Hotel at 86. His nephew, Sava Kasanovich, went to the room the next day and reportedly claimed that certain key possessions of Tesla's had been taken. In particular, his technical papers and a black notebook containing notes on government work, or at least what they thought was government work, that he was working on. Tesla was a renowned Serbian-American inventor who created the Tesla coil, engineered the first hydroelectric plant, pioneered the use of the alternating current, and laid the foundation for our modern power grid, among countless other inventions and scientific contributions. He was truly ahead of his time, and quite a few of his ideas, notions that were unfathomable in that day and age, are still being pursued to this day. He's obviously considered a genius, one of the most brilliant minds of the last thousand years of human history. Another Nikola called Nikola Jokic, who has obviously won the MVP twice in the NBA and just won the NBA championship. And then they've got other legends like Novak Djokovic, who is now considered to be the greatest tennis player in history. However, Nikola Tesla was a genius of a different kind. According to the FBI's redacted files on Tesla, made public in 2016. Kosanovich indeed went to his uncle's room to open the safe and retrieve a few things, a book and photos, though no mention is made of the supposedly missing items. The FBI reported that Kosanovich later told Walter Gorsuch of the Office of Alien Property Custodian, APC, they don't store aliens, by the way, it's a reference to different kinds of aliens, that he had been looking for Tesla's will. The APC was in charge of confiscating enemy-owned property during World War I and World War II. I don't think any of this property was enemy-owned, but anyhow. Popular Mechanics says that the FBI's files clearly expressed that the US government didn't trust Tesla's research in the hands of his nephew. He thought it was better in their hands, obviously. No, 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 we can't trust the family with their rightful property. We're better off taking it. Now, keep in mind, his nephew was actually not a, he wasn't a moron. He was actually the Yugoslavian ambassador to the US. The Bureau, though, was concerned that he might turn over such coveted information to the enemy. So the following day, the APC confiscated all of Tesla's items, which amounted to two semi-truckloads. Though it's worth noting, the FBI states, the office didn't think it even had the legal ability to do so since Tesla was a naturalized American citizen. So the office thought, we're doing the wrong thing here, but to hell with it. We're going to do it anyway. At the time, it was rumored that Tesla may have made some incredibly powerful and life-changing discoveries. On the 22nd of September, 1940, the New York Times reported that Tesla had created a death ray that could melt airplane motors from 250 miles away. It was called the Teleforce. Supposedly, this Teleforce would operate through a beam 100 millionth of a square centimeter in diameter something we still can't do today, and can be generated from a special plant that would cost no more than $2 million and would take only about three months to construct. This is what the Times said. If this was true, such a weapon would be critical na to national security, as of course, such a weapon could change the tide of the war completely and give victory to whoever owned it. Tesla had worked on trying to beam electricity through the air. This also inspired his teleforce war machine, which would have been a huge breakthrough, in fact. 
Wireless electricity, though, is still a potential technology being explored by the US government and many other inventors to this day. But it hasn't really worked out yet. That said, wireless electric car charging is now a thing. Even wireless electric car driving while the car is in motion. So that is a transfer of electricity of sorts. Furthermore, thought he could collect and harness what he called cosmic energy that he theorized existed in the atmosphere. There's been a long running and debunked conspiracy theory that Tesla succeeded in creating a way to generate this free, unlimited energy, but that the government suppressed the information, which they could have, as it would have upended the industry and revolutionized society for the better. Uh, when you consider that reality, I think it's possible that the government did do that. Anyhow, soon after the APC collected Tesla's belongings, an electrical engineer with the National Defense Research Committee created during World War II as a way for the government to coordinate with scientists for purposes of national defense by the name of Dr. John G. Trump. Yes, he was related to Donald Trump. In fact, he was Donald Trump's uncle, was tasked with investigating the Tesla papers for anything that might be of importance to the government. Officially, he concluded that Tesla's papers did not include new, sound, workable principles or methods for wireless power. And that may have been very well true. Tesla became increasingly eccentric and obsessive later in his life. And his claims could have just been wild theories that never came to fruition. But that said, was Donald Trump's uncle really the right man to make this call? Was he really smart enough to be able to look at Nikola Tesla's papers and say, ah, nah, this is all rubbish. This is just nonsense. Now, that'd be like me. Seriously, that'd be like me just looking at the stuff and going, I don't understand advanced mathematics. I don't understand any of this advanced physics. And, you know, so therefore it's all crap. Come on. That sounds preposterous. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that... Tesla himself had created this nuclear beam ray that could shoot down airplanes from 300 miles away, or that he had actually figured out how to make free abundant energy. I'm not saying he had, but I'm just saying Donald Trump's uncle wasn't the right person to make this call, surely. Anyway, still following World War II, the US government renewed its interest in developing beam weapons inspired by Tesla's research. As described in Margaret Cheney's biography, Tesla, man out of time, in 1945. The Air Technical Service Command at Wright Reed, Ohio, requested photostatic copies of Tesla's papers on beam weaponry from the Office of Alien Property Custodian. Four months after the APC sent them, the agency requested them again, supposedly having never received them. This is weird. Two years later, two years later, the APC asked for the copies to be returned, and the Air Technical Service Command said they would be sometime in 1948. But they never were. It took years, and even a court hearing, for Kasanovich to finally receive his uncle's possessions in 1952, 10 years after they were first stolen. Even then, a good number of Tesla's belongings were missing. Reportedly, his family only received 60 trunks full of his research out of the 80 that Tesla said he'd had. Um, okay, that means a lot of them were missing. The US government did keep classified copies of all of Tesla's research papers, they say, but the originals are now housed in the archives of the Nikola Tesla Museum in Belgrade, Serbia. The question is, though, what was in those 20 trunks of material that the US government never returned? Clearly, it didn't return a significant amount of the property it stole. What I want to know is, what exactly was in that property? Was it free abundant energy? I don't know. I'm not saying it was, but I sure as hell would like to know what was in it and why it wasn't returned. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching.